Hello and welcome to the week 12 of uh, Power BI exercises that I am doing and then showing it to you via the workout wednesday.com. If you don't know or if you have learned it very first time, this is a website where every week uh, there is a new Power BI challenging challenges and I'm picking up the historical ch challenges as you can see 2021 week 12. Um, so today is what uh, 1st of May 2022. But uh, I recently discovered this and uh, I thought, yeah, why not? Let's practice my skills again uh, in different challenges. And yes, I have no hesitant to say that I'm learning more and more every day uh, with the help of others. You know, all of these uh, amazing people like Spencer and a couple of more who are contributing to uh, to work out Red State. So this week, the challenge is customers, uh, not customer, custom sorting. Custom sorting is again various different ways by which you can do the sorting. For example, if I just expand this little bit. So this week challenge custom sorting of bar chart first create a bar chart that shows total sales by category, total sales by category, then sort this chart sum of total units. That means altogether different measure that is not part of the visualization, right? So we'll see that how. In one of my previous videos, I have actually showed you how you can do that. If you remember that, okay. If not, that's also okay. We'll go through this. Secondly, we'll create another bar chart that shows total by category. Now sort this bar chart into specific order. So this is where the manual ordering comes in. And uh, I thought of like two, two different ways in which one basically worked, which is very similar to the solution that is also given at the end of this exercise. And lastly, create a bar chart that shows total sales by segment. So total sales by segment and sort these by corresponding category. So category is this, right? Uh, the, the legend. So how we can do that is something we will see. Um, so for this data set mm -hmm. is present over here, right? So what where it will take you is basically the Power BI site. So this is where the Power BI is and down there sales and marketing sample PBIX file is something you will click here. It will allow ask you to where to download and uh, that is something what I have downloaded over here where you have uh, where is the sales and marketing sample PBIX file, right? So going back to this. And uh, this is what the requirements are. Again, requirements are already shown it over here. So I will just reference this um, and start creating the charts. Okay, so first thing first, first create a bar chart that shows. And before I do that, if you have landed very first time on my channel, then a quick information about the sheet that I maintain for Power BI, where this is the live Google sheet where I keep all of my exercise videos. So right now I am taking up these exercises, but tomorrow uh, exercise from work out Wednesday, but tomorrow if I do it, let's say my own, which I po keep posting uh, historically, I've done that. Also some other website, uh, which I find it useful and I will maintain it over here. Also, I have close to 200 videos over here uh, about the various features of the Power BI. So the title is present here. The link is present here that way. You can easily search any of my previous videos that I've posted rather than going through a whole list of uh, videos on my channel, right? Because I post many, I have Power BI, I have Tableau and so on and so forth. So this link is present in the description. Also, this link is uh, of exercise is also present in the description. All right. So first chart that shows total sales by category. All right. Let's go to this Power BI. And uh, we will have this visualization pane open and uh, we will create a, this cluster column bar chart. We will add the sales. Okay. And uh, by category, right? So if you go sales and total unit by sort by total units. So category by sales has come. The only change change is that it, it is using different colors. However, we are using the same color, so not an issue. But the important part is sort by total units. So how do you sort by total units? Because you don't have the sort unit uh, or the number of units present here. 
So the way to do that is you come over here, total units is present here. Let's add total units to tooltips. Okay. So you have this total units here. Now, if you come over here, you have the sort axis and you have total units, right? So now if you see over here, youth is slightly smaller than the mix. You see, this is 60. Uh, in terms of sales, it, it, it is 12 million and 62,000 is the total unit. However, for mix, the sales is 19 million. So it's bigger sales than this, right? But the number of units are just 42,763. So because the number of units are big here, that's why youth is coming over here. So that's one way or first scenario that we wanted to achieve. Important part to keep in mind is if you want to have any custom sorting based on another measure or dimension, keep it here in the total units. Uh, sorry, tooltips, not total units. All right. Um, second thing. Second thing is sales and total units by category. So we can copy and paste this, put it down here. We will remove the tooltips because we are adding a different sorting. Sort by... In this case, now sort this bar chart in this specific order, rural, urban, mix, and south. Now for this, I thought of two different options. One is, uh, you know, I thought about how about I go ahead and create an enter data. Using the enter data option, I create a table with these four categories and assign a sorting value. For example, assign one to rural, two to urban, mix, and youth, and do it in ascending order. I tried this, but somehow I could not get success. Okay, so for that, let me just show you. So if I just enter the data and show you category. So what is the category? Rural, urban, mix, youth. Rural, let's call it value urban Ooh, we don't need this delete urban mix youth is that what it is rural urban mix youth okay so one two three four category sort if i load it so four rows are loaded, category sort. If I go into the data model, you will see that by default category sort is uh, having a connection over here, right? So if you want to see this, right click properties, product, uh, category sort. This is one to one and uh, this is category here, category here, which has been highlighted, so it is okay right now what i thought about it like this i have added the tooltip similarly i can add the tooltip over here right category sort value tooltips okay but then i go here sort access so now it is what it is doing is basically a count of values so if i click on here count of values and ascending even in that case it is not changing the values i thought of coming over here and uh, show value as no calculation is fine average i don't know let me try to change it to some if anything happens but nothing is happening so we can i try to change it as much as possible sum of value and ascending so ideally based on this or based on our table rural urban mix youth right this is how it should have come but for some reason it is not coming so i don't know what i'm doing wrong right now but maybe something uh, i may need to do the research a little bit more so what I did was uh, the second method 
and over here if I click on the product table click on the new measure and we will say category custom sort and alt enter switch expression is your values of what category product category right comma alt enter when your value is uh, freak I forgot rural urban mix youth rural one Ooh, I press enter instead of rural urban mix youth four correct click ok right so now you have it over here and uh, I think I can category custom sort what if I bring it over here on two days I don't remember what I what happened there category custom sort oh yeah it's working sending yep in this case it works but I don't know what what is happening because I was trying to do the same thing over here category and value instead of switch just little bit more sophisticated solution but in this case it works urban rural urban rural urban makes you so let me know uh, if you find any uh, if you know any of the solution based on your experience or I will probably try to do some more research on my free time as to if there is a way we can do it by enter data and that's why we have this custom table right and over here if you see this is not coming as anything like uh, sum or anything so over here you have it like more like this but this value is whole number right uh, whole number yep I don't know for now okay so that's one and then third is over here I'll just pick this up sales by segment and category all right favorite sales segment category Ooh. all right let me just try using this okay this is more like a stacked bar chart i don't know they have used looks like they have used productivity correct for this one <clears throat> crazy okay so this is what it is but we need to sort by segment by corresponding category descending alphabetically okay so we have this sort access sort by legend category and descending so what it is doing is it's only changing this but nothing else right and the way it should sort is like this is one category so c m e each should be e yeah c e m right that's how that's how it should be alphabetically if we if we want to sort it so for that i will again go in so our sort axis okay so in case of sort axis we need to remove so this is basically overriding so I uncheck that and now you see we are getting the value all seasons and then within this category it is alphabetically sorted C E M and then you have this productivity regular select and youth finally the youth 
So, is this what is coming also here? Moderation. I don't know, moderation is slightly high. So, you have these four values for R1. How many values I am getting? 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. And uh, two values for this. And just one, one values for this one. Right. Yeah, pretty much the same. It's just that I'm not getting regular up here, which I need to again check for the sorting. So for now, these are the two options. So what I what I'm going to do is I will going to utilize the category here in the tooltips, right? And then try with this. This is what I was going step by step. So I'm showing you the same option. So I'm removing this and from sort access. I am sorting by first category and in not here and in ascending. Okay, so now I get it. Productivity, all seasons, this, convenience and all of that and you. So this is what I wanted to show you what process basically I followed step by step because in total there are like couple of options or I would say very limited options like how you can sort so need to be a little bit creative as to how you want to sort it and what is the situation and in that you need to get the output that you need right so even think about this over here you have the convenience right tomorrow there may be a situation that your users are asking hey this needs to be sorted so this is like like this one highest value and lowest value right so what would you do because you don't have you can only do this, either this, this or this. So it's a, it's a thing uh, which probably on the sorting some more advancement will come or something if I'm not aware that's a different thing. <laughs> but I, I feel like this is still not really available right now. So that's about it. I'll meet you now in the next video with the new exercise.